how you doing? This is Lene Jones, Jules of Jules Realty. This is Michelle Jules of Jules Realty, your real estate boutique. And also I wear multiple hat, also from MR Crew Construction. Yes. So today it's our lunchtime round table, but we have taken the show on the road for a Friday field trip. We are at a property that is currently on the market for sale and Michelette is actually working with the homeowners to do those final little details to get this property up and going. Um, you know, it's the little details that really make a difference when it comes to marketing a house and, and, and really increases or decreases value. So today we are gonna look at um, radiators, you know, we mentioned this uh, a couple weeks before, a lot of the properties in our area are very old. Properties have been built in the early 1920s and 1930s, and some of them have those cast iron um, radiators. radiators. Right. And a lot of the times people kind of um, cheat a little bit and they don't necessarily paint behind the radiators or you know they're like oh nobody's gonna see that or what have you um, but today you are going to show us how to take a few minutes and you can actually paint behind the radiator is that like a big deal yeah it is a big deal for some people the radiators uh, as you know the cast iron radiators um, they could range from uh, 60 pound all the way up to a 400 pound radiator. Wow. Probably, yeah, probably even more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it all depends on how, you know, how big the room is. Okay. Um, so, sometimes people don't want to go through that or sometimes people can't go through that. Right, right, okay. So but I could show you a couple of little uh, uh, tips. Okay. And uh, you could cheat on them tips where if you don't want to remove it, but if you able to remove it, I'll show you how to remove it and put it back. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a, a, uh, an example. The example is you have a paintbrush and you also have the, if you can see this, it's a, a little more, less, a little like very narrow roller. roller. Mm -hmm. So um, I've taken the liberty to um, show you, as you can see, I put um, plastic tape around the radiators because a lot of times when you're using a uh, paintbrush or using a roller, me, I am very particular on how I do some work. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you take the roller and you're rolling it, it may get on the radiator. Mm -hmm. And some, you know, once you get it on that, then you're gonna have to take the time to clean it. So a good way to avoid that is to put a plastic uh, around it and take it very good. That way, as you can see, you could pretty much roll as far as you could go. Some radiators are closer to the wall that it's not possible where you, well, you might have to stop here. And as you can see, we've got the trim wall, which is uh, a, a semi-gloss white, and then they got an eggshell gray. And if you put a piece of tape on the wall, it allows you to, even if the paint get on the tape, it allows you to kind of cheat a little bit. Okay? Mm -hmm. However, um, you're still going to have back there um, some space will not get painted. So the other way that you could do it is you could actually remove the radiator. If you're capable of doing so, you could use a wrench and you have, um, make sure you shut the, uh, the valve before you, you start uh, removing the radiator. And generally with these steam radiators, sometimes they still have water in the pipe. So I tend to take a rag, or if you have a little bowl, you can put it under there, and then you can remove the radiator. Just make sure you move the radiator with your leg, not with your back. You just brace yourself. You just wiggle the radiator out of the way. 
Mmm, and you can see. Okay. As you can see over the years, um, you can see some white paint, you can see some pink, you can see some blue, and whatever this color looks like, like a mustard color. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's all kind of uh, damaged from, this is old plaster. So once you do that, you can take a little um, mud, you can put it against the wall, let it dry, sand it, and then you can paint it. And, and that's that little, de that's the detail. Most people probably would say, wow, that wall looked like it was painted until you move the radiator. And then you say, oh boy, well, it's not completely done. Right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, a little water spilled over. That's the reason why you always need the- uh, The rag. The rag. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, look behind the radiator, you can see how all that paint mm -hmm. that got on the plastic, it, it would have actually had been right there on the radiator. Right, right. And then once you're all done, you can pretty much take the plastic off. Okay. And as you can see, if you look behind the radiator, people who painted it previously, you can see that pink. Uh -huh. You can see this mustard color. Yeah. And uh, you can see a whole lot of stuff going on over here. Right. So you, you're going to repaint all of this, the, the um, radiator and the, the wall. Yeah. So pretty much you could repaint the whole radiator and when, whenever you're repainting this radiator while you have it out, mm -hmm. make sure you use radiator paint. If you go to your local hardware store, mm -hmm. it's not regular paint. It will say high heat. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So if you ask for silver, you could paint it. Uh, they got multiple color you could paint your radiator. Okay. But the uh, typical color is the silver. Gotcha. You, some people I've seen it painted beige, I've seen it painted black. Right. But the typical color is the silver. And what you do is you could paint it before you put it back. However, I'm gonna give you tips for, put, for putting it back. Once you remove this radiator, now you're gonna to have to, if, you know, I would recommend that uh, you put a little Teflon tape. You just mm -hmm. take a Teflon tape, it's, they're pretty cheap. As you can see, you just take this and you wrap it around it. Around what? Around, you could just wrap it around the edge of this. Oh, okay. Like this. And then once you wrap it around like this, that definitely helps seal your radiator from, from leaking. And you can see that once you when you once you finish with this, you just take it, you walk it back in place again. Don't walk it with your uh, with your uh, back. Mm -hmm. Walk it with your legs. Yeah. So pretty much, okay. that's my tips for today. Okay. Thank you for joining us today for our real estate roundtable um, field trip Friday mm -hmm. to get some tips from MR Crew Construction and um, preparing a house for um, the market. So those are the little tips. So next time, hey, listen, next time you are looking for a house or, or you have somebody who's working with you at your house, make sure you take, take a peek behind those um, radiators to see if they are completely uh, painted the way they're supposed to be. That's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, subscribe to Jules Realty Boutique on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And on Fridays around the noon hour, we have our real estate roundtable live on Facebook. Great real estate tips every Friday around the noon hour. So connect with us. We look forward to connecting with you. It's Jules Realty Boutique. See ya.